Hello to you guys, Crystal here. Welcome on into Animal Crossing City Folk. Hands up, who saw this one coming? Because I certainly didn't. <laughs> I hope you're all having an amazing day. I have a weird history with this game. We can talk more about that when we actually start our playthrough. I have no idea how this playthrough is going to go, but I figured I miss I miss OG Animal Crossing. I know I miss the older games and yeah, 2008, I'd say this one classifies as older, so why don't we go ahead and get started? Alrighty, sorry to keep you waiting. Already we're moving in, so I came to get you. Nice, huh? Uh, life on your own. I know that's exactly what you're thinking right now. Nobody to tell you what to do. Free to live exactly as you please. Sign me up. Oh yeah, a new house, a new neighborhood, some new friends. A fresh new start and a whole world of possible encounters await. I mean, how sweet is that? Oh, so sweet. So come on, are you ready to start fresh? To grab a new bull by his new horns and start a new adventure? Or you can also move your life over. Oh, right, I forgot about this. Uh, no, I'm good with starting fresh things. And I am right there with you. I mean... You're starting a whole new life, right? What better way to start? With a sparkly, fresh canvas. Yes, waiter, give me some of that. Yikes, the bus is gonna be here any second. Boy, time sure flies when I'm yammering. Alrighty then, let's go. Ooh, just made it. First step in starting your new life is getting on the bus. Hey, if you don't mind my asking, it's February 1st, 2023 today, and it's now 11.34am, right? Uh, that is correct. That's right then? Sweet. So, um, oh, yeah, I was about to ask what your name was. I like how they kind of situate it so that it seems like Rover knows you and he has no idea who you are. Anyways, if you guys are new, my name is Crystal, and I, I've been playing Animal Crossing for far too long. <laughs> Let's just face facts. Oh, Crystal, is it? Nice name! I like it. Uh, I guess cute, hmm? Yeah, yeah, completely. It's fun and feminine, the perfect name for you. I know. So, Crystal, this town that you're moving to, what's it called? Um, alrighty. So, I don't have a specific name in mind. I'm gonna go with... Retro, I think. It's just the very first thing to come in mind after seeing how old this game is. Retro, huh? That's it? Gotcha. So retro. Yeah, I hear that place is really lovely. You must be so excited about your new life there. So excited. I hear that. Oh, yeah. But hey, listen, you know where your house is, yeah? Um, I'll find one. <laughs> Figure you'll tumble onto one once you get there, huh? Well, you're in luck. I heard that the housing market and retro is booming and new homes are popping up everywhere. So, if you're looking for a place, I guess you have some money with you? Uh... Not, not all that much. <laughs> what? Seriously? Hmm. Well, I'm sure everything will work out. And just in case you need something, uh, the folks in Town Hall can always help you out. Here, check this out. Oh, okay. Hello. I forgot that they just kind of give you the map right away. Oh, there's like a weird, like, island in the middle. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's a map of Retro. Go on, take it. When you get to town, use this to find the town hall. Your next stop, Retro. Retro be next. Oh, hey, we're about to stop at Retro. Alrighty then, I hope we get a chance to chat again sometime. Just, you know, every single time I boot up this game. <laughs> Alrighty, I hope I chose the right options for my Hey, Oh dear. My hair. Head on over to the town hall before you do anything else. Bye bye. Bye, Rover, love you. Oh, what happened? I thought the hair plane was bad. Uh, point the Wiimote. Yes, I have that. Uh, A, okay. Alrighty. So, it looks like it's just over this way. 
Tom Nooks is straight down. The museum is like over this weird this. <laughs> um, so let's go over this way. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, we got peaches! Yay! I'm gonna try my best to keep the Wii mode off screen just because I don't want that to bug anyone. Um, and from what little I know of this game, I also know I shouldn't be running anywhere unless I dislike grass. <laughs> Oh, are you Crystal, the girl who just moved here? Welcome to Retro! My name is Pally, and I work here at the Town Hall. Well, no need to dilly-dally. Let's take a look at where you'll be living. All available houses in Retro are the same size and price. We currently have four vacant houses left. Of course, locations, roof colors, and interior styles of homes vary, so pick a place that suits you. Anyway, houses are all marked on here. It's kind of crowded up top, but I think I'm going to go for the one right next to the town entrance. I think. Let me just get the paperwork started for your new place, okay? In the meantime, why don't you go follow that map and check out the house locations around town? Once you find your future home, I bet you'll bump into the owner, Tom Nook. I need to talk to him about payment for the place. Oh, do you know how to open your map? I do. Oh, good. Well, off you go. Thank you. I love it. It's just, from what I remember, you're gonna enter your house, you're gonna leave, and then Tom Nook's like, hello. <laughs> Would you like to buy property? Okay. Oh, this music. This music is so, so good. Okay, so I think... Wow. You know, when the bus pulls up, the back of my house is gonna get, uh... demolished. <laughs> Well, now I- oh, do I- there's a rock right out front, too. Do I really want that? It's kind of cool! Um, hmm. Oh, a roar! Oh, wait, 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 I haven't even seen who my villagers are yet, wait. Mary, Kurt, Aurora, Queenie, Clyde. Oh god, what is that? Oh! <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh, Moose, it's been a bit- oh dear. Okay, I can't remember if they can hold tools in this game, but if he can hold shovels, we're gonna have a problem. Um, you know what? Yeah, I am gonna take this house. I think. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but I like it. Oh, I even like this wallpaper. Perfect. Um, uh, is there a light switch or... There we go. Oh, there he is! Uh, hello! You must be Crystal. Yes, yes, I've been hearing so very much about you. Welcome to Retro. My name is Tom Nook and I run a shop here in town. I look forward to your patronage there. So, how was the house? You're very much liking it, aren't you? Uh, I am, actually. Good, good. So you'll be buying this house? Um, as long as you promise to fix the back end whenever the bus pulls up, then, uh, sure. Well then, that decides it. From now on, this is your house, Crystal. And think of that stereo inside as a moving gift from old Tom Nook. Hmm? Couldn't sell it anyways. So, tell me, Crystal, did you see the attic? Whenever you're done playing in retro, make sure you go to sleep in the bed in the attic. Then you'll be able to remember all the things you did that day, yes? If you forget to do that, it'll be like you never did anything that day at all. So please, don't ever forget to do it. A crucial detail, yes? That's all I need to say about the house, but I suppose you might have questions, yes? Don't me repeat it all in case you miss something? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Aurora's like, hello, yes. New neighbor. <laughs> yes, yes, you'll figure it out in time. Now we need to broach the delicate issue of payment, so... Uh... It's the land, the building, taxes, surcharges, various fees, and whatnot. So, the total for the house is 19,800 bells. Okay. Ah, now that's good to hear. Yes, yes, very good. I'll appreciate it if you pay by money transfer if you don't mind. I'll let you know the details later. But, Crystal, there is something more important than settling the house business. And that is, how do you plan on making a living here? You see, this is a business for me, yes? So I expect you to pay off that loan eventually. 
Yes. I know. Crystal, you can come work for me part-time at the shop for a little while. I can teach you how to make money, show you around town. Two birds with one stone, yes? Alright. Very good, it's decided. Well, can't leave the shop I attended for forever, so let's get down to brass tacks. Hmm. You've decided on a fine house, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Oh, and make especially sure you introduce yourself to the mayor. The mayor should be in the town hall, so don't forget. In the meantime, I'll go get some work ready for you. Just come by the shop later. You can take a look at your map to find the shop and town halls, so don't run about willy-nilly. Oh, he just stands there staring at me. He's like, are you gonna come work yet? Are you, are you ready to work? Anyways, hi! Look at you. What do you want? Honestly, who runs around bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at this hour? Now, who might you be? Oh, are you the new girl folks have been buzzing about? Everyone calls me Kurt, see? As you can tell, I'm not much of an early riser. Anytime you got questions about town, swing by, I'll be happy to help, as long as it's after breakfast. What time do you eat breakfast? It's, uh, almost 12. <laughs> Oh, I love Aurora. I had her in Wild World when I was younger. Oh, well, well, well. You must be the new face in town. I heard about you. I even woke up extra early this morning just in case you happen to be out and about. I'm Aurora. I look forward to spending a little time getting to know you. She is the sweetest bean. God, I love her. Okay. Uh, so, that house is Kurt. That's Aurora. That's going to be Clyde. Oh, there's Moose. Um, okay. <laughs> He's still just like, are you ready yet? <laughs> but yeah, if you guys don't know, um, if you... Oh. There we go. Getting used to the controls. Uh, if you haven't heard my history with City Folk, I didn't have a Wii when I was younger. I went straight from the GameCube up to the Wii U, which was quite the jump. Oh. Fantasy would really like this house. And, uh, I kind of skipped over this massive generation. I knew I was missing out on City Folk, but I also knew it was very similar to Wild World, so. Nice to meet you! My name is Clyde. You're Crystal, right? You just moved in? I've been looking forward to meeting you. I'm hoping we'll be good friends. I will always remember February 1st, 2023. That's the day we met. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, he freaks me out a bit. <laughs> he freaks me out a little bit. Okay, let's go see Moose. And then there should be another villager down below. I like the look of the houses in this game. They look really nice, actually. Oh. Oh. One of my favorite items. Oh, no, I didn't want to click on it. <laughs> I was going for the item. Well, hold the phone! I've never seen your mug around here before. Oh, dude, you must be the new rookie that just moved into town. My name's Moose. And you're Crystal? Right on. Nice to meet you. Oh, man, the flashbacks. <laughs> the flashbacks. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Moose and I have quite a history. He was in, uh, I believe it was my New Leaf Town memory. Which was a stream playthrough. And, uh... He liked to wander around with his shovel and just look generally suspicious. So, seeing him here again is a little weird. There we go, I actually got to work without the Wiimote that time. Alright, Queenie. With an egg cooking. I have questions, but okay. Uh, no! Oh, you are! You're the new neighbor! You must be, since I know everyone! Or everything about everyone here, I don't know you. What's your name? Oh, Crystal, is it? This is a small town, so news of someone new moving in spreads quickly. I should know. I spread it! Anyway, my name is Queenie. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> Queenie... Okay. Okay, it's fine. Don't question it, just move on. <laughs> Just move on. Alrighty. Um, so I think there... There's a ramp 
down there, and then we're gonna go down that way. a player oh hi there you are oh my gosh hey you just got moved in here and stuff right oh great yay in the morning i hope i'm the first one to find you you are the last by the way they call me mary hope to like see you around and stuff all right so that was all of the villagers i'm guessing the mayor is gonna be up by um I want to call it the post office. That is not... I mean, the post office is there. Uh, up by the town hall, I guess. I have such an itch to run. <laughs> I have such an itch to run, but I've heard so many horror stories about the grass deterioration in this game. Oh, he's not. Hmm. Unless he's just vibing in here? Oh, there he is. Ew, whippersnapper. Who are you? And while I'm asking questions, what is your favorite animal? Oh, I mean... I mean... I'm so sorry. Huh. Kids these days. With your wild hair and your hoot nannies and your lack of respect for your elders. Listen, Ari, I did not ask for this haircut. Yes, uh... What were we talking about again? Uh, Mr. Mayor? That's our newest resident, Crystal. What's that? Ah, come to think of it, I did hear something about that, or did I? Who can remember? Anywho, I am the mayor of Retro Tortimer. At any rate, you should come see me on holidays and other event days. I'll be waiting for you in the square in front of the town hall. Yes, waiting and watching. Concerns. For some reason, I thought he'd be outside, but I guess... I might be thinking of the, uh, the older games. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was everyone. Let's go see... That is not Nook. Uh, let's go see Nook. Oh, I want that item. I want that bird thingy. So you've said hello to everyone, yes? Try to remember everyone's names and faces. That should help you adjust to this new town. So, you're just about to start your exciting new part-time job, yes? Very good. First, I want you to change into your work clothes. Strictly speaking, what I mean by that is the uniform for part-time workers. Let me know when you're done changing. Will do. Um, I'm actually surprised I remembered how to do that. I guess that looks quite fitting on you. Now let's get to work. The first thing I want you to do is plant these flower seeds and tree saplings outside the shop. Sometimes brightening up the outside of your store is just the thing to perk up business. So make sure it looks really nice out there. And let me know when you're done. I have just noticed, I'm sorry, this is for like after tutorial, that you have all the tools and that's far too exciting. The amount of times I've started a new Animal Crossing game and I have like only the bug net for like a week. <laughs> That's very nice, and I don't know if the game did that intentionally. Okay, let's look at the damage. What did he give me? Yellow rose, yellow tulip, white pansy. You know what? I was gonna say I'll be nice and plant him near here, but no, I'm gonna go plant him near the entrance to town. Uh, assuming I can. Can I plant? Oh yeah, okay. Just throw them down. Normally I throw them around my own house, but... Uh, and then I know the trees can get a little... little iffy with where you plant them. Seems empty. And more empty space. See, like, I would put it here, but I know that those two houses are going to come in and trample it, so no point. Oh, 
Oh, he's fixed. May look nice and pretty out there, yes? I had some misgivings, but I guess I must try to trust your decorating sense. So, now I guess it's time to put you to work like a real part-timer. Maybe now you can deliver a few things for me. Uh, okay. Kurt, I know where he is. Unless he's moved. My customers wait eagerly for their goods to arrive, so try to deliver them as quickly as you can. Get back quickly, too. Just don't loaf about nibbling the grass on the side of the road. I could not at the moment because it's just pure snow out there. Um, and you know what? Maybe while I'm delivering this question of the day, I'm going to try to have one for every video. Um, what have you named your Animal Crossing towns? And, uh, like, you know, I, I don't expect you to remember every single one. Um, but just in general, maybe your more recent one, maybe your city folk town. Maybe you always name it the same thing. Eh, there we go. <laughs> Aurora, what are you doing? You're delivering furniture, but that must mean you're working part-time at Tom Nook's. Yeah, it happens to pretty much everyone. Nook casts a long shadow in this town, not many escape it. Let me guess, moving to town left your wallet a little empty, and Nook offered a way out. I understand all too well. Look at you, I remember when I was a fresh-faced kid starting out on my own. Hey, Crystal, you know what you need? A little welcome to town gift. Or take this CD player. Oh, that's actually quite nice, thank you. Think of it as a housewarming gift. Don't bother saying no, it's already yours. You should start thinking about the kind of furniture you're going to decorate your place with. Uh, okay, I do not need tutorials. Oh, and if you don't mind me asking, when's your birthday? See, I can't say who, but someone asked me to find out. Don't worry, I won't ask what year it was. Oh, good. <laughs> so, out with it. What's the day? It is... Uh, very easy, it's March 3rd. Your birthday is March 3rd? And you're Pisces, is that right? That's right. Got it. I'll pass that along to any interested parties. Well, I don't want to keep you any longer. Good luck with the rest of your work. Thank you. I'm gonna go put this away. Because I, I actually got a good item to uh, start us off with. Um, to replace the, uh, the record player. Or the cassette player? Cassette player. There we go. I'll just start a collection of these. <laughs> I could have sworn the town entrance looked different before. Does it change as you play the game? Maybe you upgrade it? Um, and maybe that's the other thing I can mention right now. Again, I don't have a big history with this game. I've played a lot of Animal Crossing over, you know, years now. I've played a lot of the original, a lot of Wild World, far too much of New Leaf, and a lot of New Horizons. But this one is the one I've definitely played the least of. So any tips or, or tricks and stuff you guys want to post down below would be very, very nice. Open, open the door. Maybe starting with how to open doors. You're back, I guess, back and you made the delivery. Good job. Crystal, that was fast for your first job. You get things done in a flash. So let's move on to the next job I have for you. Next job is direct mail. I need to write and send louder my regular customer moves. Just a quick thank you for patronizing my store and I noticed that we're having a wonderful sale. Here, write on this stationery. Oh, I know exactly what I'm writing to him. And send mail at the post office window in the town hall, yes? So, snap to it. Oh, don't you worry, I will. I will, I'm gonna warn him about his shovel usage. Okay, so... Uh, two... Moose. Alrighty, this is a great start. Let's 
says the town post office. What can I help you with? Could you send this threat? I mean, uh, warning. Okay, I'll take it from here. Uh, I do not. Thank you for visiting and please come again. Will do. Alright, there is the second task done. Nice and easy. Did you send it out? Oh, very good, yes. That seemed to take a little too long for my liking, but at least you got it done. Oh, and Retro really likes letters. If you if it didn't go out, I'd be in trouble. Next I need to deliver a carpet. Make it snappy this time, please. Let's look at this carpet to Clyde. At least he's giving us villagers who are close by, you know? And just because you don't think I'm watching, don't go take uh don't go taking detours and chatting about. Yes, just let me know when you finish. Oh, he's not threatening the raccoon goons. <laughs> Twelve o'clock. I have to decide what I'm having for lunch today. Everything all right there? Uh, mail call, actually. There you go. Uh, what? That's weird. Why is Crystal delivering the carpet I ordered from Tom Nook? That's weird. Well. Why don't you take this pastel dot rug as my way of saying thanks? <laughs> if you like it, you can use it in your house. Oh yeah, speaking of weird things, Tom Nook stores different things on sale every day. I guess that's not weird at all, huh? In fact, I'd say it's actually pretty sweet. Yep, it's fun to stop by there and check out what he's got. Me? I like to go every day. You should go too and see if you can find something you like. this over. Give this? No. Let's go tell him that we gave it to Clyde. And I'm guessing the next one is either a tool delivery or a notice board thing, yeah? It's like you're starting to get the knack for this whole working for a living thing. Keep up the good work. I like what I see. Next I need to deliver this watering can. Oh, to Moose. If it had been a shovel. Oh, don't go using my customers' things as your own when you should be delivering them. If you want water some flowers, you can buy your own watering can. I would if you sold it. No, I shouldn't actually complain. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the tools. That eyebrow. Yo, Crystal. Tell it to me straight. What's the matter? This is for you, and I've been told I'm not allowed to use it. Yes, it's here! I've got a water stop till my arms cramp. Hold up. See this letter? Did you write it? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you're really taking this whole work thing pretty seriously, huh? Usually Nook's mailings are all lame and nookish, but this one came out of left field. I showed it to Clyde and Aurora, and they were stunned when they read it. See, here in Retro, we take letters we like and show them around. That's why all us pro-letter writers know not to spill any personal or embarrassing info in these babies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now everyone knows I've been threatening them. A little bit jealous of Moose's house, so he's like right next to the store. Welcome back, good job. I guess let's see now. Your next job will be. I know, I just remembered. There's a bulletin board near the town hall. You know the one. I need to write an ad for the shop on that very bulletin board. I'll leave the wording up to you, but make sure it's something snazzy that all the young kids will like. And remember, lots of people will see it, so don't write anything that will make us look bad. All right, hop to it. Gotcha.
I know exactly what we're writing. And I'm pretty sure I've done this before on stream. But, uh, for the funsies, right? Okay, so... Perfect. <laughs> Oh yes, welcome back. Did you write the message? Yes, yes, very good job. So that means you're done. Yes, done. Those things were all the odd jobs I had lying around. And since I don't have anything left for you to do, that means your part-time employment is over. Hm? Your home loan. Yes, yes, of course, I'm going to need you to pay that back in its entirety. In your part-time work thus far, you've made 1,400 bells. So that means you only owe another 18,400 bells on the home loan, yes? Not so much, is it? But there's no work left here for you, so I guess you'll have to find another way to pay off the loan. You could help people in town, sell things you don't need, or do any number of activities to make money. If you want to sell stuff, bring it here. I'll make sure you get a good price for it. Oh, and one more thing. You can pay off your loan by wiring me money from the ABD in the town hall. When it's all paid off, come see me about home renovations. Your house is a little small right now, but I can make it bigger and much more comfortable to live in. So, uh... Good work here in the shop and everything. And don't forget to do all your shopping right here. I'm all done with work. Now I'm free. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I think that is actually going to have to wrap us up for our... Uh, our very first episode of City Folk. I think what I'll do is I'll do a second episode during the same day where I go around, uh, make the money we need to buy our tools and get us sort of situated, uh, talk to the villagers some more, all that good stuff. Uh, and then the episodes after that will be, you know, different days. <laughs> so uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so, so very much for watching. I missed the older Animal Crossing games. I really have this just speaks to me on a different level than the newer games do. Um, I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of your day, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>